A chance to move on here tonight is in store. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to EA Sports. I'm James Cebulski. Well, here we go. Game six tonight. We are just seconds away now from puck drop. A critical game for both sides here, and we are underway. Malone's got the puck. Opportunity to go up by one, and analytics will tell you when you score first, chances are you win the game. Misses a golden opportunity there. There's so many moving parts in the game of hockey, which is why it's one of the most difficult sports in the world. And he gets to that prime time scoring area, you don't get that too often, and he just sails it and misses the net. There's the whistle and a much needed one at that, Cheryl. Well, everyone takes a breath of fresh air here as they're able to reset as they get chaotic in their own zone. They've lost their coverage. They get the whistle now. Keenan's ready to take the draw here on this power play. Clock has dropped and we are back underway. Nice point check inside the attacking zone. Intercepted the pass. They get it out of the defensive end. Toledo's got possession here in the neutral zone. Can't connect good use of the body on that play. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Lemos is ready for the face-off as they'll continue to kill off this penalty. And gets a little boost to come up with the puck from off the wing with both centers tied up. And the puck is cleared to a safer spot. Malone's almost ready to get back on the ice. And a solid effort by the penalty killers as we are back to even strength. Does a great job by the PK to have the ability to be aggressive and strong on the puck. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. Here's a chance, sends it in front. Couldn't complete the pass. Trying to get back on the attack now. Fires it. That's gloved by Weeks. Handles the pass from his goalie. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Here they come on the attack. Quick pass across to Laporte. And he steps into the line of fire and blocks that. Hadfield's got it in the defensive end. Along the half wall with the puck. Quick feed to Kearns. Just gets enough to keep it out. Reaction time is everything when you're a goaltender, and that's why you see from a young age them working on all of those different drills to help them with these kinds of saves. Just flash the leather and make the save. What a glove hand. Lands cross the line and gain the zone. Denied by Bednar. Moves it quickly over to Bowler. Oh, there's one more. I'm not sure where the defense is, but I'll tell you what, the goaltender has been outstanding, made a flurry of saves to keep his team in this one. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. Still looking for our first goal. And they win the draw here in their own end. Denomi swinging the puck through center ice. Shot! And he puts that one aside with ease. Oh, and he makes another save! Oh, man, he's so dialed in. Makes consecutive saves there and keeps his team in it. Bulmer's got it against the boards. Didn't get all of it, but just got enough of it with the trapper. Sawchuck's moving the puck through his own zone. Sends it in on the attack. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Kanye stick handling in his own zone. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Reaches out and uses the stick. Keeps a hold of the puck. Now the left wing, they gain the zone. Gets a hold of the puck here at his own end. Takes the pass. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. Slides the puck across to Denomi. On the 
attack along the boards. Here's a short pass to Baker. Sends the pass over. Puck fired in deep, and they'll go for a change. Picking up steam in the offensive zone. Indy's looking to break out. Handles the puck. Here's a chance. Glove save. Picks off the pass. Quick pass over to Hawkins. And he takes the feed. Hawkins setting up against the wall. Denies him! I love the way that he battles and competes for this. There's the whistle. That pane of glass was busted after that heavy shot and probably terrified those fans right behind it. Yeah, everyone was flinching, just thinking that puck was gonna go straight through, but a testament to how strong the glass is nowadays. It doesn't shatter, it just simply spiders. Nonetheless, it has to be replaced. Toledo's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Just an easy pass save made by Weeks. Well past the midway mark of this period. Still scoreless in this one. Indies won the faceoff deep in their own end. Puck battle along the boards. Sends a pass over. Gaining momentum along the wing. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Handles it along the blue line. And that goes wide. Bednar is going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Looks like lineups are set and they're ready to get things back underway. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. Picks up the puck. Too much congestion in front. And the puck skips out of the zone. They'll be forced to tag up. Takes the shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Slides the puck over. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. Moves inside. Excellent stick work on the play. Moves it to Limos. Nice zone entry from the right side. Shot. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. Off the draw, and he ties up his opponent. Quick pass to McGrath. Oh, a huge hit against the wall, and you know they felt that one. Well, and that's a tone setter. That's sending a message to every player on your team. Get involved. Pay the price, use your body, and get the puck. Indy's going on the attack as they gain the zone. Here's a shot, and that's blocked away. Puck scooped up by Denoni. Oh, and a great save by Weeks. Sends it quickly to Lang. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Anderson. Toledo's got it in their own zone. Here they come. Quick feed to Sacha. Goes right to the crease. Indy's got the puck in their own end. Looking for space inside the D zone. Kanye's going to play it against the half wall. Indy's gained possession along the boards. Puck grabbed by Sacha. Toledo's ready to go on the attack. Moves it quickly over to Craig. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Hillis works the puck in his own zone. Poked away in the offensive end. Takes a bump and loses control of the puck. Battling for it along the boards. Toledo's got a hold of it along the wall. Grabs the puck. Gaining speed through center, and here they come on the attack. And he takes the feed. Into the offensive end now. And he takes the pass. Oh, and he just gets a piece of it to keep it out. Here in the later stages of this period, we're still scoreless. And off 
the drive in with possession. Short pass to McCourt. And that doesn't reach the net. Slip feed. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Moves the puck along the half wall. And that's off target as it hits a body. Great read by Hawkins. The walleye have taken possession along the wall. Indy's got it in their own zone. And he denies that great opportunity there. And both centers glide into the dot as a face-off set to resume. Keenan's quick stick off the draw wins possession. First 20 minutes of play is in the books. Both teams get a chance to refresh and reset. We'll be back with second period action in no time. Just ten dollars. Make sure to stop off at any team store here in the arena. Pick up your specially priced item of the game. Our scarf tonight is just ten bucks. A clean sheet of ice beckons, and period number two set to get underway. Still looking for the game's first goal as we are underway in the second. Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? Toledo's got to be happy with that opening frame, James. I mean, they dictated pace, they dictated tempo, and they dictated the underlying possession numbers. But in the offensive zone, when you get those type of chances, you got to be opportunistic, and you got to reward yourself for the time. Indy's got the puck along the boards. Right up the gut into the offensive end. He grabs the puck here at the point. Fires the one-timer. Close. What a fantastic save from a high-danger scoring area, James. And, I mean, he's bailing his team out. They have to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Lots of time left in this period. Still no score in this one. Indy's won the draw. Cuts to the point, and he elects to explore his options. Here's a chance. Stops him cold. Here's a shot. Oh, and just gets a piece of it. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Toledo's won the draw. Takes the feed. Good heads up defensive play as he extends the stick. From his own end, he picks up the puck. Oh, and a poor rattling hit right there. Well, certainly was lined up perfectly, body on body, weight distributed right in there. Receives the pass. How did he stop that one? A timely save is everything to your team, and this goaltender, he bails his team out. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. And it's a quick pass to Bolmer. Takes a shot. Denies him in front. What an incredible glove saved by the goaltender. I mean, he gets out to the top of his crease. He's challenging. He's saying, hey, try and beat me on this side. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Up Indy's won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. relief on the bench right now finally getting that goal here in period number two now you know that they're taking a deep breath here james as i thought that this game could have been broken wide open earlier they've held the majority of the shot share and finally one goes through Toledo's on the attack and that's broken out moves the puck battle along the 
boards. The walleye have gained possession off the wall. Sends the pass in front, and that's stopped. Taken along the wall by Baker. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. And they keep the pressure on. back to get the equalizer and now it's what they do with that momentum this next shift it's critical well, this is a really smart shot through traffic james the recognition of the net front presence in screen and the goalie drops to the butterfly position really tries to make himself as big as possible hoping that the puck just hits him because he can't see it still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark we are all tied up in this one Puck is dropped and play resumes. Indy's cut him along the wall. Picked up along the boards by Martin. Takes the feed. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Polito's got a hold of it against the wall. Delayed penalty coming up here. Pokes the puck away. Santazzo's got it along the wing. Here's a shot. the puck i understand when you're racing for the puck to stand in the way of your opponent to slow them down but if you hang out there too long you're going to get the interference call the power play unit goes right back to work they haven't scored on their power play yet they've earned this opportunity they'll get another look at it look for different adjustments to be made takes the puck Goaltender is very aware of where that puck is in that low slot area and defends his crease by getting out, being aggressive, and taking away any of the net. And they get the puck out of the danger zone. Toledo's got a hold of the puck now. Handles the pass. Some solid defensive work in their own end with the poke check. And the puck clears the zone. Throws one up to McGrath. Smart read by the defender to come up with it. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Gets it out of his own end. Man advantage fails to deliver, and both teams back playing and even strength with the score still tied. Well, a really nice job by this PK unit, James. Just negating scoring opportunities. Good goaltending as well. Got to be your best killer, but finding ways to get it down the ice and keeping this game tied. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. We got a tie game. Indy's going to start off with the puck here in the neutral zone after winning that faceoff. Toledo's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Santazzo's picking up steam. Toledo's got the puck along the wall. Turned aside with the glove by Weeks. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Officials are set. Players seem ready. We're ready to get this thing back underway. Gets a hold of the puck. And now it's grabbed by Baker. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. The walleye have it in their own zone. And he takes the dish. Inside the offensive zone. Good defensive stop with the poke check. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. And there's another penalty call against the home team. These fans are frustrated. Show, I think these calls are legit. I just think that the fans are wondering, what about the other side here? Well, yeah, and they got to be expecting to get one soon here, as it is one side. And it's so hard for a team to get into the game when there's no flow because you keep parading yourself to the box. And they'll roll the power play unit right back out. When you're not having success on your power play, James, you have to find a way to out-battle, out-work the goaltender. You gotta get into the paint. You gotta find a way to get to that puck first. The walleye have the puck against the boards. Denied by the goaltender. Moves it over to Limos. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Quick pass to Pion. 
Indy's going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. Back to the point it goes. The walleye have taken to the offensive attack. Oh, look at this. They are really starting to apply the pressure now. And he'll hang on to the puck for a much-needed whistle. Well, and this is huge, James. The ability to slow the game down, get a line change. There's no one happier than the coach right now. Face off coming up here. They were buzzing moments ago. Yeah, they really were, and it's a tough spot for the goaltender. Everyone else can change, but he can't. He's got to outbattle his opponent now. Stop that one. Quick feed to Lang. Picked up along the wall by Gagne. Indy's time in the box is up, and we are back to even strength and still tied up here. Well, this power play unit will not be happy. Not only didn't they execute, but they had a difficult time. Stunt go ahead, goal puts them in front. Well, now they're in front, James, so they'll have some energy. You know that their first few strides will be more urgent, but they'll have to be accountable on the other side of the puck as well. That's great puck movement, James. Working hard away from the puck to support the puck carrier, and they gain that entry because they've got numerical advantage, and they capitalized and executed with it. The walleye have jumped in front by one here in the second. And let's just see if now they take a breath, James, and the game opens up a little bit. Often when you get the lead, all of a sudden you start to be a little bit more creative. Trust yourself because you're playing a little more confident. Takes the pass. Moves it quickly over to Keenan. Denied by the defender. Nice block. Kanye's got the puck along the wing. Time to get the one timer off, but he gets his stick available and he executes. More than half the frame has been played here. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Indies won the draw and they take possession here in the open ice. Moves it to Hillis. Shot! And he makes the save. Here's a short pass to Sancho. Toledo's in on the offensive attack now. Big play inside the defensive zone. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Grabs it in his own end. Steps across the line and on the attack down the right side. Toledo's got the puck along the wall. Sends the pass over. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. Toledo's got the puck. Battling for the puck, but still hangs on. Takes the feed in the middle of the neutral zone. Denied by the defender. And he's ridden off the puck. Indy's got possession of the puck. The Walleye have the puck in their own zone. Down the right wing and into the offensive zone. Puts it on net. Oh, we got a piece of it to keep it out. Taken by Barobo. With possession along the wall. Handles the puck. The line was plugged up and that shot's blocked. Across the line from center. Oh, and he whiffs on it. The walleye have gained control of the puck along the wall. He says, let's get physical on that play. They've got numbers. Oh, it stays out. He got a piece of that one. He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. Quick pass to Anderson. He carries the puck up along the wing. Toledo's playing it from the side. He's it up. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Here they come on the attack down the right side. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Anderson's got it through the neutral zone. Great defensive effort with the stick. Oh, how did he get a piece of that to make the save? 
In the game of hockey, you know that your opponent is told to attack and drive the net and really get in the eyes of the tender. And for the goaltender, it's really... Oh, he kind of just lies and hits the inside of the post. Well, there you go. 40 minutes in the books. All right, friends. Go grab yourself some water, get hydrated, and then buckle up because we got an exciting third period coming up in moments. Fans, tonight our world famous blimp is dropping $50 for period number three is ready to go. We are underway here in the third, and this could come down to next four wins. Great reach with the coach check by Kavanesis. Great positioning in the defensive end. Into the offensive zone, down the right wing. And he takes the feed. Sends a pass over. Keep it out. Well, these are the saves when you know that your goaltender is dialed in, James. The ability to get to the top of the crease and be square to the shooter, that's a great save. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. It's all tied up. Lemos wins the face off in the offensive zone. Toledo's got a hold of the puck. And he takes the feed. Indy's got the puck in their own end. And now he moves it quickly for Limos. Slides the puck over. Santazo has been quiet tonight and hasn't contributed offensively. And this is a problem for his team who relies on their star sniper. But this game's still close. He's got to find a way to get his game and get back on track. And a great read to turn that play aside. Tripping penalty coming up here. The officials were all over that. And let's see what the call is. The fuel have been called for tripping on the play. Another power play opportunity coming up here as they set up at the faceoff. They haven't scored yet in the game on the power play, but no need to get frustrated. They all bring a different skill set. It's the reason why they're out there. Great pressure with the stick. Toledo's game possession along the boards. And he takes the pass. Quick feed to Keenan. Quick shot! And that's blocked. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. And the puck is cleared. Well, you can see the entire PK unit. Their heads are on a swivel, straight line skating, and they're able to get that puck. And because they're looking in aware, they're able to find the white ice and get it 200 feet down. Keenan's ready to take the draw here on this power play. Toledo's got the puck after winning the defensive zone faceoff. Now a quick pass to McGrath. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Barovo. Centering key! Oh, what a goal! That's exactly how the coach would have drawn it up, James. I mean, you move the puck around the outside to disrupt the coverage. You open up the middle of the ice, and then you get a glorious shot chance, and you capitalize. Excellent work. Toledo's gone up by one here in period number three. Uh, you know that they recognize that they've got the lead in the third period, so they have to be defensively responsible, but you can't just sit back and protect. You got to be aggressive when you get the moment and take advantage of it. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. Sends it into the offensive zone. Indy's got the puck in the defensive end. Nice poke check. From center, they get into the attacking area. Hillis moves it into the attacking end. There's another for the hit parade. Moves it to McGrath. Puck picked up by Keenan. Here's a short pass to McGrath. Denies him on the slapper. Scooped up along the wall by Barogo. Gives up the body for the block. Quick pass to Sancho. Oh, off the post. Toledo's players on the bench 
Edge are shaking their head. They can't believe that didn't go in. They thought they had extended the cushion to their lead, but unfortunately, it hits the post and out. Well, everyone has a job and a role to do, and guess what? It's about PK execution right now. They have the one goal lead. Now they're protecting it. Indy sending their power play unit out for the first time tonight. Well, they earned this a power play, James, through hard work, and it's an opportunity to even the score here. They need to find a way to execute and get back to the even score. Puck move back to the neutral zone. Angles it over to Limos. Fires it! Oh, what a stop as he used to just paddle the sweat of away. Grabs the puck as they try to escape the blaze. The walleye have gained possession under man. And they get the puck out of harm's way. Check to slow down. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. Drives it to the crease. Scores! And the power play works to perfection as they've tied it up. Well, the power play unit knew what was at stake. They knew that they had an opportunity to get the equalizer in this game, and they executed perfectly. There's a reason why the power play moves the puck around the perimeter and creates motion. They want to pull the PK outside of the middle of the ice. And when they do, they hit the bumper position perfectly, and they're able to hammer it home. The fuel have evened things up in the third, and this is going to be fun. Buckle up. They found their way back into this game, and they've been on fire at the onset of this third period, getting that equalizer and rewarded for their punch. And after the drive center, they've got a hold of the puck. Drives to the paint! Hangs on to the puck after taking a hit. And he gets in the lane to block that. Bonomi's got it against the boards. Indy's got a hold of it along the wall. Slick feed. Malone's got a goal in this tied game, James. You know it'll be him that'll be looking to break it. Toledo's got the puck. Quick feed to Santazzo. Through the neutral zone, up along the wing. Battle along the wall. And the puck's kicked free. Grabbed along the boards by Baker. And he slides it quickly to Malone. Along the half wall with the puck. And he slides it quickly to Baker. Shuts him down. Barogo's got it in the defensive end. On the attack along the boards. And makes the save. Indy's got it against the boards. On the attack into the offensive end, right up the gut. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. You can feel the energy in the building right now in this tight game. The pressure is on. You have to find a way to embrace it at this moment. Baker stick handling in his own zone. Scrum ensues along the boards. Kick it along the wall by McDougal. Moves it quickly over to Lang. Toledo's got the puck along the boards. Solid hit on the play. And it's kicked away. The Fuel have possession now. He's got a step. Oh, a spectacular save right there. Wow. Unbelievable. I mean, it was all but in, and he steals it because of that last-ditch attempt to find the puck. Just incredible save, James. Really want to look at this last save again, James, because this is about taking it to the next level. When you have this level of competitiveness, athleticism, and desperation and urgency in your game, you know that goaltending coach, they can't just teach this. This is instinctual, and this is what winners are made of. Here in the back half of this period, you can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Puck scooped up by Anderson. Some good stick work to force that turnover. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Off a stick and they can't connect. Sorry pass! And that goes off a stick. Shot makes the save with the glove. Centers are lined up, and we are ready to resume. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. Indy's got a hold of it against the wall. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Quick stop by Bednar. 
He does a great job of having sound positional play based on where the puck is on that low inner spot. And he makes himself big, takes away the holes, and makes the save. Sawchuk's won the draw here in their own zone. McCourt's gaining momentum. Here's a chance! Makes a save with the ball! Indy's working the transition through the middle of the ice. I love that he swallowed this one up with his glove. It's a real threat coming from the slot area. No rebound to boot. Sanchuk's won it off the faceoff. Feeds the puck over to Craigs. Toledo's looking to break out. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Moves it to Malone. Puck grabbed by Martin. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps him at bay. Toledo's gained the line and into the zone. Sends it in front, and he denies that great opportunity there. Toledo's got the puck against the boards. Takes a bump and hangs on. Here he is in front. Love save made by Weeks. That's an incredible save, James. I mean, he's got presence in his crease, and he's also got a great glove hand, and he shows it right there with that save. Let's have a look at that last save again. It was absolutely incredible. You're under pressure, you're under attack, really under siege, and you find a way to get to the puck. This is the stuff that champions are made of. Here in the late goings of the period, we are all tied up in this one. Hillis wins possession off the draw. Oh, what a stop by Weeks. Picked up along the boards by Cameron. The Walleye have gained possession off the wall. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Weeks. A big face off here inside the offensive end. And they take possession off the draw here in their own end. Martin's lugging the puck. Here's a short pass to Malone. Moves it around along the half wall. Pass save and the goalie made it look easy. We got a delayed penalty coming up here as the ref's hand goes up in the air. The Braves got him in the offensive zone. Oh, and they score! Well, with the delayed penalty, they get their opponent running around, James, and they wind up scoring, so that's going to nullify their power play, but it doesn't really matter. The extra attacker comes on with the goalie out of the net. They have the advantage and they use it perfectly. They're all over the ice. They're all over the puck. Coverage is running and they bury it. The Walleye have taken the lead here in period number three. That goal is certainly going to give them adrenaline. You know that the juices, they're a-flowing, so they got to take that energy and they got to apply it into this game now. This next shift is critical. Don't give any momentum back to their opponent. And now it's grabbed by Cameron. The Walleye have gained control of the puck in their own zone. Quick pass to McGrath. Oh, gets a little piece of it and keeps it out of the net. Keenan's able to corral that pass. He's got the puck on his stick. You know he's dangerous. He's got two in the game. He's looking for another. Wilmer's taking it from his own end. Quick feed to Tony. What an incredible save in a high danger scoring area. I mean, right in the slot, he's in perfect position to make that club save. Both teams ready in here for the faceoff. Indy's got him, and they're on the attack. Uh oh, -uh, that's blocked away. Bednar has been outstanding tonight, James. I mean, he's made the saves he's had to and really given his team an opportunity to win. You can't ask for more than that. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. The net is empty, a big draw here, looming inside the offensive end. And they take possession after the defensive zone faceoff. Toledo's got it in the own zone. A chance to end it, blocked in traffic. There's the final buzzer, and they've done it. They've advanced to the next round with that win.
What an impressive performance on the ice tonight. Cheryl, coming into this series, we heard a lot of the finish your checks, finish your checks. They certainly did that, and a big part why they're moving on. Yeah, and it's all about closing quickly on your opponent, being first to the pot, hounding it. I mean, this is playoff hockey. You want to move on. You got to get to the greasy areas, and you got to put your work boots on. And that'll do it from this one here tonight. For all of us at EA Sports, I'm James Cebulski. Good night.